Codemasters is a well-known name in the racing game space. Their series like Grid, Dirt, and F1 are highly regarded by fans. However, recently Codemasters has been dropping the ball hard. Other than their F1 series, a lot of their games haven't been doing so well due to issues stemming from marketing, management at their studios, lacking content, and much more. It's clear that Codemasters needs a change, with this video diving into these game flops and what is causing all of this. I hate to say that it started with Onrush, but it's a good beginning point to talk about Codemasters disappointing output since this game failed so hard. With it only selling around a thousand copies in the UK on release, this game flopped so hard that it never released on PC and almost killed the studio that made it. While Onrush itself was rather solid, Codemasters didn't listen to fans who just wanted a spiritual successor to Motorstorm. Instead, what we got was a team-based racing game without a proper racing mode, a lack of marketing to promote the game, and microtransactions in a $60 game that wasn't even worth the price to begin with. In the wake of Onrush's failure, Codemasters EVO lost a lot of their employees due to layoffs and ended up getting rebranded to Codemasters Cheshire, which you'll hear more about later in the video. Grid 2019 was a case of decent marketing, but again, failing to listen to fans. After Autosport, a lot of fans were hoping the next game would fix aspects they didn't like and bring back what they loved from the previous games. However, Codemasters failed to make that happen. Grid 2019 suffers from a very repetitive career due to a lack of tracks and game modes, slippery handling, underdeveloped team mechanics, no sponsors, and more. While it's not a terrible game by any means, it leaves a lot to be desired. Thankfully, Codemasters started to listen to fans more when it came to Grid Legends. However, as I will cover later on, Legends also isn't doing so well either. Dirt 5 has to be one of the more frustrating blunders out of Codemasters. The studio who made Onrush also developed Dirt 5, and honestly, that was a huge mistake. Not only did Codemasters pretty much lobotomize Cheshire after Onrush's failure, but they also tasked the developers with making the game in two years and releasing it on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. On top of that, Cheshire was a studio more designed around making arcade racers, so when developing Dirt 5, they made it much more arcadey than what fans wanted. Not having an actual rally mode, very floaty handling and wonky physics just makes the game feel not as good as it could have been. While some fans and critics like the game, the general reception from the players is really mixed. It's a real shame that we couldn't have gotten something better than this. Lastly, this leaves us with Grid Legends. While the game reviewed well compared to 2019, it seems like it's not selling well at all. Whereas Grid 2019 had decent marketing but failed to listen to fans, Legends has the complete opposite problem. Codemasters started listening to fans, however completely dropped the ball on marketing. I know personally I saw a lot more ads and saw more people talking about 2019 compared to Legends. What also didn't help matters is that the game released the same day as Elden Ring, and for PlayStation players, the game released a week before the highly anticipated Gran Turismo 7. That's a pretty crowded release time for games, and combining that with a lack of marketing meant that not many knew or even cared for Grid Legends. The game has already gone on sale literally a month after its release. That's never a good sign. While we may not have exact sales numbers for these four titles, we can usually gauge how well a game has done based on user reviews and player counts. I will be showing the Steam reviews and player counts as they are the most accessible. Here are the stats for Grid 2019, Dirt 5, and Grid Legends. Now let's compare that to the stats for Dirt Rally 2.0, F1 2019, F1 2020, and F1 2021. 
The contrast is striking. From the tens of thousands of reviews and players in the F1 games to the measly players and reviews on Grid Legends. Also, since 2018, Codemasters has released a total of 9 games. Taking these 4 blunders and dividing them with their total output since 2018 means that 44% of their games were not well regarded or didn't sell well in a 4 year time span. That's pretty bad if you ask me. And while I'm no business expert, I can't imagine investors are all too happy about these numbers. At the end of the day, Codemasters most likely isn't going to go out of business. However, now that they're under EA, these failures are going to put them in a lot more trouble than compared to when they were completely independent. When I think of Codemasters, I see a company that once had its heyday, now struggling in these current times to make successful games. It's clear that whatever Codemasters is doing right now is just not working. It's time to start listening to fans, improve their management, and also, for the love of God, start marketing games properly, because the Codemasters name slapped on the game isn't going to single-handedly carry it to success. I hope that this slump can be turned around, because without Codemasters games, the racing genre will never be the same. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.